so hello and namaste everyone if you're watching the live stream welcome to the live stream this is good friday with nm 21st series and i am zunaman as usual the host for the good friday with nm So in few minutes we are finally about to start with the first game in Europe. And the first match has already started for the European version of Good Friday with NM. This is the 21st series. And the first map is as usual Erangel. We will start with the flight path. We don't have so many teams today, but we are still going to have some fun with the teams that we have got today. If you're watching the live stream, you can write some interesting comments on the live section, live chat. You can interact with me in the live chat. 
so there's a flight path from the north to the south starting from the starting between Severny and Stalbe in the northern part and ending around the western part of the military base So team 14 already moving towards the north eastern part of the map. Team number 4, 6, 15 around Rozok. Team number 13 also moving towards the east. Looks like they are heading for mansion. And team number 11 and team number 9 looks like they are moving towards celta and prison so around pochinki we have team number eight and team number three team number seven moving towards farm And there goes the first circle which is pretty much on the northern island above military base military base is already outside the circle and no one is around so let's take a look at team number nine mega clutchers who are pretty close to team number 11 on title Gorkha team number four and team number six are also pretty close but yep they have a river in between team number four still on the northern island and we have team number ten, uh, 14 like i said before around stalba so team number nine is already in prison so team number eight is also pretty spread out Pretty much everyone is busy getting some good loot. So looks like team number four might be approaching towards six, but they decided to move to the northern part of Kyrgopol and around the containers we have team number six Dwandakadi So now we are taking a look at team number 4, we survivors around the northern part of Geogopol and let's see what's happening around the map. Let's go to team number 13. So instinct from team 13, time for chill. is pretty much alone over here close to team number 11 
1911 is also moving with a vehicle the first potential battle might be between team number six and team number four but we will still wait for it On title Gorkha team number 11 Samurai Hattori Senpai and Pankun there is already action going on between team 13 and team number 9 Sandy already managed to take down one of the members from team number 13 time for chill and team number 13 is already down to three members Team number 13 still around Manson and team number 9 in prison looks like they decided not to push team number 9 is on the move so there is Luffy So let's take a look at Rose Oak team number 11 UZ engaging with B2K Sorry Team number 8 Ready aim fire Previously known as RR Three players already knocked from UZ So we are taking a look at the hill of Rosog right now. UZ having a hard time with team number 8. 2 versus 1. slowly moving forward and UZ successfully wiped out by Team 8 Another battle going on between MC and Angel So two players are knocked from Angel and two as well from Mega Clutchers Pretty intense situation over here
there's a knock by toxic Angel down to three members being surrounded by MC from all the sides and there's the push wow Angel just got wiped out by mega clusters <clears throat> Let's take a look at team number 15 and team number 6. So team number four is also really close over here <clears throat> already engaging oh there goes the knock by lighter Team number 8 also taking a rotation over here. that was a lot of bullets over there they just fired And the battle continues between team number 6 and 15. And team number 15 wiped out successfully by team number 6. Dwandakari. What's happening around? Let's take a look. Team number 13. This might be the next battle between team 13 and team number 9. Team number 9 is already aware of the situation and there goes the shots. Here we have a full squad from Mega Clutchers and on the other side we have a trio from Time for Chill.
taking some long distance battle oh let's take a look around what's happening on the other parts of the map so team number eight is also approaching yes there goes the push by the duo from team number eight Luffy already in position Wow that was a great nade by Luffy from Mega Clutchers two down in one shot I mean in one grenade on the higher ground we have dark line team number 14 pretty much safe for now Thanos, Lenka and Ardno in team number 14 dark line <coughs> and the battle continues between team number 9 mega clutchers and time for chill so team number 13 decided to change their position Let's take a look at team number three around the ruins. They might be facing team number four. Yes, team number four is already aware of team number three and giving some sorts Team number 13 just passed team 14 and team number 9 MC was a Luffy from MC, uh, MC alone over here firing some bullets Hmm, taking really little damage over here that was just not worth it and there's the other circle team number six doing a pretty wide Rotation over here approaching towards team number three So we have Death Army, Sonono and Axe in team number 3, Monks. Oh, there's a third party by MC, Mega Clutchers, holy moly. Looks like they might be 
sandwich over here. Revive on process. Oh, third party by Death Army over here. Successful revive. So three teams over here, team number 14 down to one member. Sandy has already located the lone survivor from DL. We still have six, six teams remaining. Oh, Mega Clutchers decided to push towards NM. Oh, there's the push by team number six. Wow. Mega clutches down to two members. Wow. Fanos just managed to knock one of the members from Team 13, but just got wiped out. So, down to four teams. We now have. Team number 6, Dwandakari, We Survivors, Time for Chill and Mega Clutchers. Oh, Sandy was just knocked out. So three teams remaining. We survivors. Mega clutchers and time for chill. Here we can see the two remaining members from V survivors team number four, solo survivor from team number nine, mega clutchers, and over here we have team 13 with a trio. 
and they are inside the zone Kazi and Suzal on a western part of the circle So that was it for the first match. <clears throat> Let's take some screenshots. So before talking about the results we I mean I'm going to create the room for the second room which is going to be in Miramar if you're watching the live stream please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the like button So the room has already been created please stand by on discord going to post the key and password right now for the second match So the room ID and password has already been posted on Discord. Please make sure that your team joins the room in time so that we can start in time. We are starting in time so that you don't miss the match. Any of your teammates make sure to get the room ID and password in time so that no one misses the match. So talking about the results we have the winner for the first match. Time for chill with a total of 3 kills by instinct. Nice one. Then we have <clears throat> we survivors on the second position with a total of 4 kills. Suzel 1 and Kazi 3. Then we have Mega Clutchers on the third position with a total of 8 kills. Well played by Mega Clutchers. Sandy 1, Toxic 3, Luffy 4 kills.
after that we have Dondakari on the fourth position with a total of seven kills criminal one lighter three Nepali Babu one and Itachi two kills then after that we have Darkline on the fifth position no kills on the sixth position we have destructors from nm death army one kill on the seventh position we have razor uh, sorry that was aim fire and kill i think hmm Sorry, that was ready. Aim, fire. On the seventh position with a total of four kills, ABM one, Diamond three kills. Then on the eighth position, hmm, not sure about the team. Looks like never mind. Moving on to the ninth position, we have NGL zero kills on the 10th position we have uz or on title gorkha with a total of two kills moving on So it's now time for the second match which is going to be in Miramar. We still have more than 10 minutes left for the match to start. So please make sure that you have downloaded all the maps and share the ID and password with your teammates and please make sure that you share it only with registered players because if you have an unregistered player in your team no kills will be counted and if you do that again and again match after match your team is going to be disqualified so to our live audience right now you are watching the 21st series of good friday with nm and this is the european version we just finished with the asian before the european one which we conduct independently every week fridays if you're watching the live stream and interested to join our weekly scrims which is called good friday with nm you need to join our discord server which is posted in the description and in after joining our discord server you will find all the necessary information about good friday and notorious monks over there you can register your team contact with the organizer 
share your questions and queries with us if you have any so once again i'd like to thank you on the behalf of nm for participating on our good friday series but we are looking to <clears throat> yep we are looking for more participants looking for looking forward to more teams more new teams if you have any teams who are interested to play on such weekly series or weekly scrims please don't hesitate to share the word and invite new teams on our good friday series which would be really helpful So in less than 7 minutes we are about to start with the second game of the day which is going to be in Miramar. And this is the European version of Good Friday with NM. You are now watching the 21st series. Let me recheck all the settings looks fine. So after this one we still have a final match remaining please make sure you attend all the matches so that you don't lose any of the points on the points table which is going to be posted till tomorrow we also have UC giveaway every week for the winning team and the top fragger If you want to win some UC, it's not much, but still something. A small gift or a giveaway for the winners. You might want to win it. You just need to register your team and participate to get the UC successfully. Unregistered players are not eligible for the UC giveaway and not eligible to participate on any of our matches. So we are hoping on the coming weeks that more teams will be joining our Good Friday series. Hopefully with your support we can make it happen. We are giving our best to invite more teams to make the experience best as possible. Sometimes there are a lot of teams and sometimes there are only few. It's just that some teams might not be able to make it every week. That's why we have only a few teams for this week. We will try to invite more teams next week. 
and we hope you we hope to see all the teams who are participating today on the coming series coming weeks as well So we have now less than 3 minutes before we kick off with the second match in Miramar. Players are still joining the room. Let's wait for some minutes. We still have some. So it's about time for the second game, still waiting for some seconds so that we don't miss out anyone. So we are starting now.
so there goes the flight path from south west to the north eastern part ending around El, uh, El Azahar starting from Valle de Mar So team number 14 moving towards Valle de Mar, team number 6 Sumatera, team number 3 is also around Sumatera and Ladrilera, team number 4 is moving towards Monte Nuevo, team number 8 towards Pecado, team number 7 and team number 9 moving pretty much together parallelly towards graveyard and here we can see team number 13 so the first possible battle might be between team number Seven and team number nine <clears throat> so on the first match team number nine was able to wipe out team number seven let's see what's going to happen over here there's the second knock Angel having a really hard time over here. Only one member there, and there's a backup. So wiped out again by team number nine. <clears throat> Let's, <clears throat> let's take a look at team number six. Not everyone is holding on to their position right now. Steam number 13 
moving slowly towards the zone. The vape 77 same key chapo and instinct in team number 13 time for chill still gathering some loot And we have team number 8 in Tecado. Pretty much safe for now. Let's go to team number 4 WSV survivors Kazi Huskin. Suzel and Ice Rick in team number four. Looks like they are geared up for now. Feels like everyone is waiting for the next shift of the circle. Seven teams and the zone is pretty big. For seven teams, team number 13 slowly moving forwards. face and unexpected battle with team number 9 according to the movement there's the second duo from team number 13 on the northern side of northern part of graveyard and the other duo is already pretty close to graveyard Or they might be engaging with team number 8. Looks like their next stop is going to be Picado. Team number 3 and team number 6 might also engage. Looks like they are already engaging. Yep. Yes, team number 13 is already starting. And right now we are in Sumatera.
Oh, Lighter just managed to knock Death Army with a grenade. Down to three members. So, team number eight just managed to wipe out team number thirteen. We just missed the most of the part of the battle let's go back to team number three and team number six <clears throat> team number six is also down to two members one of them knocked Down to one last member, team number six, Dwandakari. So on the NM side, we still have three members remaining. Let's take a look at the other teams. in Team number 9 really close to team number 8 looks like this is going to be our next battle. Looks like he's stuck over here. Or not. No. Just taking some cover.
Team number eight is also down. Team number four engaging with team number three over here and we still have team number 14, team number six and team number nine. Team number nine is also inside the circle, team number six moving towards Searching for a vehicle. Taking the highest possible location over here. Team number four having a hard time. Engaging with team number nine. Oh. Down to two members. Revive on process. Team number four is also 
wiped out by team number nine mega clusters we are down to four teams now Here we have the lone survivor from team number 14, a whole squad from team number 9. Team number nine shooting without any break towards team number three. Oh, and team number three also wiped out by team number nine. Down to two teams. And Luffy managed to take down the last remaining member of team number 14. And that's the end of second match. Mega Clutchers did a really good job in this one. So before talking about the results, let me create a room for the final match. Taking some screenshots.
and the room for the third match has also been created posting the room id and password right now hmm So the room ID and password has also been posted on Discord. Please make sure to join the room in time. So moving on to the results, we have Mega Clutchers on the first position with a lot of kills. 13 kills to be exact. Really well played by Mega Clutchers. Taking down teams one by one. I really enjoyed the gameplay and their positioning how they took their rotations so talking about the individual kills sandy 3 toxic yt2 kilon 3 and luffy 5 kills really well played well done by mega clusters then we have dl dark line on the second position no kills after that we have <coughs> NM Destructors on the third position with a total of four kills. Lorelei two, Death Army one and Sonona one. On the fourth position we have Dondakari one kill by Lighter. On the fifth position V Survivors zero kills. On the sixth position, we have hmm, Ready Aim Fire with a total of four kills, one by Knight and three by ABM. On the seventh position, Time for Chill, zero kills. On the eighth position, we have NJL. So moving on So finally time for the third and final match of the day which is going to be in Vikendi. If you're watching the live stream right now and haven't subscribed to our channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. You can also share our channel with your friends if any of your friends are interested in live streams like this and are interested to participate on weekly screams please don't hesitate to share it with your friends so talking about our good friday series this is the 21st or the 21st week or the series as you say it 
this is a weekly scream and right now we are watching the european version of good friday with nm s21 we have interesting teams today although we have we don't have a lot of teams today So all the teams had a lot of time gathering some good loot and setting their positions, taking their rotations because we only have 11 registered teams and not of all of them have been playing all the maps today. I think only 8 or 9 of the teams have been participating in all the maps today which is fine so in less than 10 minutes we are about to start with the final match of the day in weekendy and team number 13 14 already inside the room let me check the settings is not properly set up So let me check once again, looks fine. So a short notice to all our regular participating teams. If you want to make this more interesting, our Good Friday series, if you are enjoying it, please help us reach out to more players and more teams so that we can make it more interesting and more intense on the coming Fridays. For that, we really need your support. Please don't hesitate to spread the word we really need your help to reach more competitive teams and players on our good friday series we are also doing i mean trying our best to reach out to more people and more players so that you have a good experience participating on our good friday series you might as well also help us making it more interesting
so we still have few minutes left to start the final game <clears throat> Hmm. Still waiting for some teams to join. <clears throat> So looks like no one else is going to join and we are now going to start with the third and final match in Weekendy.
so there's a flight path from the north west part starting from creatures ending around the southeastern part of winery So team 14 moving towards port and team number 3 between coal mine and creatures so the first battle might be between team number 4, 6 and team number 8 in villa The other teams are around Volnova, team number 9 and team number 7. already two members down from team number four and here we have a duo from team eight one of the members is knocked from team number six so this is a fair two versus two battle over here between team number six and team number eight. So revive on process. no movements team number four decided to move on Let's take a look at team number 7 and team number 9 again. NJL and Mega Clutchers. So if they are going to take this battle, this one is going to be the third battle between NJL and Mega Clutchers. And Mega Clutchers happened to win two consecutive battles in a row in the last two matches and for this one we only have three players on the mega clutcher side and a whole squad from NGL so they are already engaging Wow. Luffy and Toxic on the roof. 
NJL down to three members and the fight between team number six and eight has also ended team number eight being wiped out by team number six So looks like he is the scout, scouting maestro of Mega Clutchers, D. Luffy. Let's take a look at team number three. Meanwhile, the battle continues. Team number six still holding the position in Villa. Team number 14 slowly moving forward. Team number six also decided to move on to a different location. Team number four is also really close again to team number six. This on the opposite compound so there you go so on the eastern compound we have WS team number four and team number six there goes team number 14 from the middle so no one decided to take any shot everyone is holding their fire Oh, there goes the M249. Death Army. Sonona, there's another drop. Let's take a look. Om. Um, 
hog gearing up with some special gears and the cold battle continues between team number 9 and team number 7 so they decided they are firing again Angel sadly down to two members Oh We have a situation over here Wow Gorky just managed to knock one of them and there goes the backup Pablo moving forward Wow 1v1 Pablo versus Toxic Whitey. Pablo running low on HP right now. Oh, so he just managed to wipe out Angel and revive his teammate. Well done by Mega Clutches once again, wiping out Angel, and here we have DL. So we still have five teams remaining and just a minute before the blue zone starts to move again. So team number six moving towards Volnova. Yes, their next stop looks like they are going to stop in Volnova so here on the northwestern part of Volnova we have team number six Dundakadi a trio and on the eastern part of Volnova we have Mega Clutchers looks like they have already sensed some movements oh there goes the shots by Itachi so Kilon just managed to take some cover So there's the last 
remaining survivor from team number four versus a whole squad from NM. So that was it for team number 4, back to team number 6 in Volnova. So there's the next sift of the circle, focused around castle. Let's see what is going to happen here in Volnova between Mega Clusters and Dondakari. Are they going to move on and move inside the circle or are they going to face each other before moving on? And the blue zone is already moving in. So team number 9 Mega Clutches decided to move inside the zone. They might face some battle on the way. That was a really nice push by 4AM Dwandakari. They just directly followed the footsteps of Mega Clutches and managed to wipe out the duo of MC. So down to three teams. We have a full squad from NM. Destructors, a trio from Dwandakari and once again a full squad from Dartline outside the zone. So time to move inside the zone. Team number 6 pretty close over here. Already located team number 14. And team number 14 successfully passed by team number 16 moving towards the northern part of the castle being fired by team number three so lighter from team number six just managed to jump below the bridge
we still have two full squads and a lone survivor oh already to this side of the bridge that was a nice one by lighter approaching towards castle Everyone is inside the circle right now and in the center we have NM Destructors team number 3 with a full squad. So on the northeast part of the castle we have Dark Line also with a full squad, Fanos, Amigo, Lenka and Ardno in team number three we have death army sonono Axtrix and Lorelei for the final battle and here we have the lone survivor from 4 a.m. or Dondakari lighter There's the final circle. Lighter already moving towards the final circle. Team number 14 pretty far from the zone. And the blue zone is slowly moving in. Wow. Fanos just managed to wipe out team number 6. Oh no. And that was it. Killed by the zone. So on the first position for the third match we have NM Destructors with a total of 5 kills. Lorelei 0, Death Army 2, Axtrix 2 and Sonana 1 well played by the Destructors from NM. On the second position we have Dark Line with 1 kill by Fanos. Then we have Dondakari on the third position with a total of 6 kills. SBG 1938 3 kills. Criminal, sorry, Lighter 2 kills and Itachi 1 kill. On the fourth position we have Mega Clutchers with a total of 4 kills. After that we have, um, sorry, individual kills. From Mega Clutchers Toxic YT 2 kills Kilon 1 
and Luffy one kill then we have V survivors on the fifth position zero kills after that we have NJL one kill by Pablo and then we have we have ready aim and fire on the seventh position one kill by abm so that was it for today this was the final match in weekendy the results will be posted tomorrow in discord please stay updated and the winners are going to get some uc Hope to see you next week again. Hope to see more teams and more players so that we can make it more interesting. We really need your support for that. Please help us reach out more teams for the upcoming weeks. Please spread out the word. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe and share our channel. Signing out for today. My name is Zunderman.